check check one check two I started the stream and it's not showing oh something happened uh, I had this featured up on my channel it says I'm supposed to visit oh no that's gone I was saying I should go visit my channel and put this video up to like I done that two hours ago damn it so when unit one failed hi everybody when unit one failed okay so we get down well, come on see Dana come on sorry folks doggy doggy comes first come on so come see Dana okay I guess not she's whining she wanted to get down I thought she wanted it up so just a quick one before I say anything else or Zoe jumps in again Zoe come here come here come on come see Dana okay that's all working good hi Judy hi Steven break a leg broke a scooter is more like it Zoe I can't I can't come over to him right here come on come on see Dana come on hang on folks Good dog, Zoe. That was crazy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Seedman. Steven. Aqua123. Peepin. <laughs> How are you two going? Hi, Kerry. Penny. Thank you. I say hi to everybody now. Fleb. Pauline. Thanks, folks. Uh, it's hard keeping up with. Hi, Cats Alive. That's okay, Cats. I get it. Hi, Kate. Uh, you'll say Sydney. I might as well say hi to everybody now. Stephen, Char, Sydney, Stacy Lane, 74. Oh, excuse me. Who didn't I get? Jerry, Gary, uh, DC, Babu, Albert, Huma. That's cool. Hi, Joyce, Jocelyn, I should say. Wickers. Elizabeth, uh, yeah, 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 I'm trying to get everybody. Uh, sheesh. I ended up in that path. That's great. So we had a couple of days off because I was supposed to get a new tricycle. Just for a second. And the tricycle came. And it's unbelievably cool, but it only goes nine kilometers an hour. And that's useless. So I got to send it back. They don't know what's wrong with it. They made me tear it all apart. I already had another one like it for three years. I ran it into the ground. Okay, so here we go. I'll get rid of that. Hi, Craig. I took a part of the trike. It's more like it, Craig. Uh, yeah, I had to close that tab. Okay. So, in this Milky, I, I, I got your number, yeah. And uh, I can do that for you. I'll even make a little video because I got it worked out for you now. And so, like, the big question was, how come we can't find nuclear scientists? Why do we got to put up with people like uh, Dummy, Sugar Guy, Thunderfoot, uh, Phil Mason, who works for nuclear power plants? Telling lies is unbelievable. It's, it's just unbelievable. And then why do we got people like Jay Cullen from the University of Victoria? He's not a nuclear scientist. Why do they got to roll people like that out? Say Ken uh, Buesler. Why do you got to roll people like that out of Woods Hole with 800 scientists? Surely the hell they got a couple of nuclear scientists they could roll out. Why do they got to roll out these maggots every friggin' time for? You know, Ken Buesler, the last time he touched nuclear subject was during Chernobyl. And he got back into the game at Fukushima. You tell me what's going on. And he does that in a number, well, like when he's in the colleges, he'll say that. But I got interviews where he's on the radio and he said, he's been at it since Chernobyl. No, he wasn't because at the MIT conferences and the other lectures he give, he always says, you know, I got back on board as soon as Fukushima happened, had to catch up, you know, haven't touched it since Chernobyl. That's pretty friggin' interesting, okay? Why are you even there? Why are you even open your fucking mouth for it? Ken and Jay and Phil, Thunderfoot, 
Laura Turner and Thunderfoot. What a dipshit. Wait till you see what I'm going to do to that guy. Woohoo! I downloaded all of his shit. Mr. Toy Planes, Mr. Battleships. Man, he, he that guy is unbelievable. What a lowest form of life that guy is. He knows better. Potassium 40, right? He equates everything with potassium 40. Natural, insignificant, got nothing to do with nuclear. And Ken does it. Jay does it. I got so many people doing it. I'm going to have to make just a video of all these people talking about potassium 40 into an E equals MC squared equation. They're not nuclear scientists, but they're getting all the air time. Where the hell are all the nuclear scientists? We wouldn't be here if there was all kinds of nuclear scientists out there explaining it. Talking about it. And because if they come out and try to lie, we can go after them at their institutions where they got their degrees. And they know it. We can, we can flatten them forever. And so they roll out, they take the nuclear scientists and they educate the PR firms on how to manipulate with potassium-40 the numbers, how to marginalize everything you're saying. Because 10,000 becquels in your drinking water is an acceptable limit of potassium-40. That's got nothing to do with uranium-234, 235s. That's got nothing to do with plutonium-238, 239, 240, 241. It's got nothing to do with strontium. got nothing to do with, you know, the cesium. And once again, I, I'll keep saying this because it's true. Is whenever you see cesium, there's 30 times more strontium. It's because they were using MOX fuel. It's a totally different concoction. And it's just so frustrating to see no scientists. Like, it's really starting to strike me now that when I went through my collection, I realized I literally haven't got a nuclear scientist there because I gather everything. And the ones that are out there, the very, very few. They won't give you any information. They'll just make these statements. Oh, it's okay. Tepco's getting a handle on it. Getting a handle on what? All, all the, all the uh, interviewers got to say is getting a handle on the 234, the 235s, the 236s, the plutonium. You had 181 times what's considered an acceptable, and there's no such thing as a safe level, but what's considered an acceptable is to keep raising 181 times that number of the iodine-131 in California in the rainwater. And so for every three iodine-131 that only lasts eight days but have actually a lifespan of 80 days, there's one iodine-129 which has a half-life of 15 million years. But there's also uranium, plutonium, and strontium, and cesiums. Like, because these uh, the isotopes that come out of these places don't travel by themselves. Right? You know, the people that make these statements and put up those headlines are crazy. They're just regurgitating. Like, I read something today. Even though I said the opposite yesterday, that's what they do, right? I read it today, so I'm just going to puke it up for everybody. Here you go. Have a nice day. Most harmful thing you could do without some kind of context is to give them free reign with their lies. And their... Why ain't we seeing any nuclear scientists? Why? That's a frightening thing, see? It's absolutely unbelievable, unimaginably frightening that we can't get these people out there. Because you want to have a pension? Because they're being threatened? Because their entire earnings, their homes, their children's education are all from the nuclear wages, you know, and keeping their mouths shut and being lobbyists? We need a purge hour, right, on this planet of this, these types of people. I'm not saying we got to burn them at a stake. I'm not saying, I'm not ruling that out. I'm not saying hang them in the streets, and I'm not ruling that out. Because I definitely think they should be hung in the streets. 100%. Make me the president of the world. And I'll decree we hang every friggin' one of them. After we clean up all the mess, we'll use them to go in first. All the friggers out there. I mean, Thunderfoot, he gets grants from your government. He's from UK, by the way. I'm going to do a serious friggin' overhaul on that prick. 
he gets grants to go into uh, the neutron and and manipulate you know like they do with gmo where they take all the nutrition out i'm not going to cover it tonight because i got so much deer on that fucker man that piece of dirt what a piece of dirt he knows better right he's a 100 percent lobbyist uh and his idea, you know, I'll just end it on this. His idea is to gather up insignificant people and then use them to bludgeon people with lies, right? To deceive them and keep them on the war path of misinformation. It's the most deceitful thing imaginable. It's it's absolutely, uh, it, it, it's really a sickness that he's doing there. The things that he does and the things that he say, that's demented. I'm going to prove it all too. I'll put out a little short video, like a nine-minute video of him. Then that night, I'm going to do a live blog, and I'll cover everything I got about him. I got a massive folder in that fucker now, man. Just scum, boy. Excuse the language. But what a... Just, oh, I can't wait to destroy him once and for all. I already destroyed him anyway, but... So the issue that we got is we can't get the experts... Right, the current on the current situation up into the media, telling not even showing up, but even if we do get them up there, they're not going to tell the truth, they're going to start referring to potassium 40 again. But those particular people we can come after really good, we can destroy them, we can use them as the, the model for the rest of them that are lying. See, we can tear them apart and spread that all over the place, and everybody knows what the lies are now, and every time they hear one lying. They know how to deal with it. Right? It's like bananas. Got nothing to do with it. You can fill the building up with bananas. You can't hurt me. But if I have a piece of uranium, plutonium, the mox fuel, the size of a banana, I can't finish the sentence. And I can pass it like a, a baton where everybody that touches that dies. But you can have a glass, you can take a bath in seawater every day with natural uranium in it. It's got nothing to do with it. Right? Anybody says that needs a shot in the head and a kick in the mouth. Period. That's how they're spreading those lies. They need a serious shot in the head when they say it. They won't say it so fast next time. They're sitting across from me, they'd be getting some shot in the head. I don't care. I pick up a coffee table, smash it over their heads. They're going to say shit like that in front of me. And the people that let them get away with it, they need a shot in the head too. What the fuck do they think they are? Out there lying. I'm sick of this. Their problem is they're not getting their teeth smashed in. Their problem is nobody fucking calls them out. Their problem is they're getting paid to come out and say it. And that's their incentive. Right? The, the manipulators that are out there now melting off all the time. I'm sick of that. That has to stop. That has to friggin' stop now. That's enough of these lies and manipulations. It's time to roast these people at the stakes. It's time to change the law so we can burn them at the fucking stakes. Right in the middle of the community. That's how much damage they're doing. How much damage they've already done. Look at Fallujah. They're going to put it all in the sarcophagus. Their citizens. Who pays all the bills. We'll put it all in the sarcophagus. And it'll be safe for a quarter billion years. And they're putting it on ships and bringing it out and dumping it in the ocean. They're running pipes out into the ocean from the plants. Every fucking one of them. And they're pouring that shit into your ocean. They're, they're saying they're storing shit in tanks. Do people got any idea the site is full of rods? You had four detonations. The site is full of broken parts of plutonium and uranium. That if you have a, a cup full of it, it'll kill you before it can finish the sentence. And then that's creating all these isotopes. Right, and then it goes up into the jet streams and it's carried over here and it's deposited and we've covered that re relentlessly on these shows. Relentlessly. Endless evidence. Non-stop. And just the best. You can't keep up with it. Hell, Japan themselves created 5 fucking thousand models in the first 52 days. 5,000 models. I like to shove each one of them down... Thunderfoot's throat, Ken Busler's throat, and Jay Collins' throat, and the media's throat. I like just get them there and take a plunger and waterboard them. And then as they start to recover, 
You know, like the dumb Khalid Sheikh Muhammad. They drowned him 183 times. Waterboarding. I've almost drowned a number of times as a commercial diver. And I've had a number of my friends that have drowned it. And, you know, you drown somebody. You're, if you're simulating drowning somebody, it's the same thing as drowning them. I can make you confess to anything. Anything. I can make you give up anything. There's nothing you won't give up. That's what we got to do with Ken Dusler and Thunderfoot in the future. We got to get them and drown them, find out where they got all their money, who, who made them do this. That's what we got to do with them. We got to create a big fucking island called Drown the Nuclear Scientist. And we got to waterboard every fucking one of them. Because that's what they're leaving us up to. Is the point where we got to go out and fucking pull a Ukraine on them, take the fire hoses and beat them in a fucking submission. Take it all back. Right, going down the street as a protester is stupid. You go with bats and helmets and riot shields and then the, the next crowd behind you got guns. That's how you take it all back. Ukraine went and took it all back and then they walked away and let them have it again. Ukraine should have beat them all the fucking debt right there and then. That's the stupidest thing I ever saw. But that's what we got to do with nuclear scientists. That's what we got to do with the nuclear industry. That's what we got to do with the nuclear lobbyists. That's what we got to do with all the yellow bellies out there, all the mouthpieces out there. We got to go destroy these people. There's no other way around this. The nuclear scientists are not going to come out and open their fucking mouths. The cowards. The cowards, the traitors of society, not going to open their friggin' mouths. We got to take it all back. We can do it. There's thousands and thousands of us to every one of them. They're nothing. Their bunkers are useless. We'll dig them the fuck out with shovels. Yeah. And fuck them, cocksuckers. Fucking lying for this long and getting away with it? I'm, that's it. That's why I got the new studio coming. I don't care anymore. It has to end their nonsense. They can put they can put me down. I don't give a fuck. But there's gonna be enough educated people out there to fucking deal with them. I don't care. I shouldn't have to fucking be here. There should be nuclear scientists everywhere I look, telling the truth. And explaining how we deal with it. Instead they've been lying for 70 years that they're going to put it in a sarcophagus and they pour it fucking into the fucking ocean. And then they roll out monkeys. They're literally monkeys. Thunderfoot. That's a monkey, Phil Mason. He literally looks like a monkey. And Ken Busler. You tell me he don't look like a monkey? Jay Cullen, you tell me that don't look like a monkey? Acts like a monkey. Talks like a monkey. You know, where where are we going to draw a line that they can't cross? Because no matter what line we draw so far, they, they crossed every one of them. They lied to us constantly. They poisoned us constantly. They released into our communities constantly. They released into the ocean nonstop. And then the media lies for him. All the cable media should be hung up by their friggin' necks and left to rot. Every fucking one of them. They're despicable, unimaginably despicable people. Like Thunderfoot. What a despicable lawyer to come out as a scientist himself and say bananas and potassium 40. I'd shove that many bananas down his throat. The autopsy would be like... Well, you know, <laughs> there's proof bananas can friggin' kill you. Who would have thought? Because of, that's how angry I am with these people now. I'm just so angry at it all. It's just so much manipulation. It's endless. And we, we can't get anybody out there to tell the truth. All the media does is like building four. How the fuck can anybody be on the, on, on the fence with building four after what I showed? How can anybody sit there and say, I'm still not sure? How fucking stupid can you be to think that way? 
that a blown up building with detonations, unimaginable detonations, can still contain what they're showing CBC is showing us. What BBC has showed us. You think that could still be in there? Don't come to my fucking stream anymore. If you're that stupid, you can believe stuff like that. You can't use your own friggin' eyes. Common sense. And everything is below this video. You got millions of emails and transcriptions from the fire releases. You got unimaginable amount of pictures directly from TEPCO's fucking website. It's okay, Dan. It's like bananas. It's like potassium 40. It's okay, Dana. Go back to sleep. Leave it all alone, Dana. Walk away, Dana. Shut the fuck up, Dana. Don't get angry, Dana. Don't fucking swear, Dana. Don't fucking swear, Dana. Don't call them names, Dana. They're fucking right, Dana. When they're wrong, buddy. When you're a fucking PR firm, you gotta spam the shit out of me for a paycheck. You loathsome fucking piece of shits. I deserve that. That I don't deserve to be called the things I've been called. I don't deserve to be overhauled by dummies that can't say a single true thing. That have to go scratching like fucking shit to find something they can use to try to marginalize me or make fun of me. Not that I care. I've been at this for years. I've ran down that road many times. I'll be back again. You know, it's, it's unimaginable that people like Ken Buesler actually exist. That Jay Cullen actually gets up on a radio program and says the fucking things he says. That CBS comes out and shows us building that has nothing to do with building four. Can't ask a question or even say, well, it had a lot of damage and we had to kill a couple of hundred thousand homeless, but we done it because that's not true. You got no pictures of them with scaffolds. You got no pictures of people on building four with cutting torches. The building was sprayed with uranium plutonium. There's x-rays and neutrons. Not like Thunderfoot neutrons. These neutrons will fuck you up immediately. I'd like to take Thunderfoot down and shove his head by one of those broken rods. I truly would. And put that up on YouTube. See? Kitties? He's a fucking liar. That's what he deserves. Nothing less. They're fucking scum that they would come out and do that when they know better. When they got an education and then try to come out and, and equate potassium 40 with E equals MC square. And that's not going to make me angry. That's not going to drive me over the deep edge. That's not going to make me want to go and fucking smash them to pieces. Because they're doing that. Because they know better. And I'm not supposed to be angry. Good luck on it. I'm getting angrier every fucking day. Because I don't want to be here. And neither does anybody else. We're here because we got no choice. Because we're surrounded by a media and a academic world of lawyers. Of manipulators. Of savages. Of mass murderers. Of cold-blooded mass murderers. That will say anything for their to keep their paycheck, to keep their friggin' pension, in the hopes of it. Anything. There is nothing they won't say. They'll equate unbelievable amounts of radiation with a banana. Oh, by the time it gets here, it's a banana. Those isotopes, like uranium, are not going to change for 4.5 billion years. They don't lose any power for 4.5 billion years. All that salt water they sprayed on it, that still gets at it. That created a phenomenon where the particulates and the radioactive atoms don't become solutable in water. And you can adjust them extraordinarily easy. They're extraordinarily powerful. They're unimaginably. There's a link below about this. It's, in a, it's, in a, it's a crazy phenomenon. That's well known now. That's extraordinary. But these monkeys out there, these absolutely retarded inbreed monkeys... Like Ken Buesler and Jay Collin and Phil Mason. Thunderfoot. No, it's like a banana, Dana. Right? And they get their, their, their hateful little followers that are just children. There's no academics following that guy, I can assure you. There's no smart people following that guy. 
But there's useful idiots that'll come out and attack everybody out there. That's what they do. Right? They're attack dogs. They're they're monsters. They're the true monsters. They're working nonstop to stop you from even looking or thinking about it. And they're doing the absolute most hurtful thing you can imagine to the planet by doing that. They're destroying their own families at the same time, their own loved ones, their own brothers, their own sisters, their own aunts, their own fucking uncles. They destroy all of them just so they can have their little, who knows, right, for sure. Nothing else makes sense. You can't be that stupid. Nobody could be this stupid, you would think. Well, CBC, CBS, BBC all showed us pictures that are not building four and claims is building four. A building you can't get into without paying a serious price. They equate with the same dose as a background radiation of a x-ray, which has nothing to do with this. Even if it was true, it still has nothing to do with this. It can't be true. You're talking about uranium plutonium sprayed all over that site with projectiles from the detonations. You're talking about an unimaginable amount was on that site and in those pools. Each pool, one rod, one rod is more than enough to kill all the humans and all the mammals on the planet. One rod. There's 122,000 rods in each pond. There's a lot of those ponds are missing. They should have never been on top of the building. Ever. Under any circumstances. They just keep lying. It should have never been there. It's bad enough what was in the reactors. Unimaginably bad. Max fuel is 2 million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. Two million fucking times. I don't make this up. This is the media. You know, I scream like this all the time. Because I don't know what to say anymore. I only scream sometimes. Because it's unimaginable that all this time has gone by, all this research put into it, And we just get the endless lies of potassium-40 and bananas, background radiation, natural, insignificant background radiation of the ocean into an equation that they know fucking well has nothing to do with that. They know that. But they shouldn't even be talking. They got no right to talk. At all. There's tons of nuclear scientists out there could be talking. It's not like Woods Hole can't find one. So why is Ken Busler up on the the rear airwaves all the time? Why are people promoting that fucker all the time for? Why is Jay Cullen even open his fucking mouth? He's another Thunderfoot. Right? Works with insignificant you know, background radiation. Because it's easy to get money. Anything to do with nuclear science, they'll give you all the money you want. Right? That's why our planet is so destroyed. It's because of these fuckers are stealing everything. I mean, 4,800 per academic publish studies every day. Not for your benefit at all. To make this more evil, to make this more wicked, to make this more toxic. We've been making power with normal isotopes for 70 years. right? The reason I'm creating all these new isotopes, these MOX fuels, is to solve equations for directed energy weapons. There's no need of it. It's only meant to kill and destroy. It's only meant to benefit a handful of the very few and the people that have already destroyed millions. It's got no benefit. We could take all that research in one fucking day, take 4,800 professors and put them to work on solar power or electric cars or electric bikes or electric scooters or how to put nutrition back into the food instead of taking it the fuck out. Like GMO. What a novel fucking idea. GMO's got no nutrition. They worked out how to take all the calcium and potassium, magnesium out of your fucking food. They learned how to engineer it in toxins like deoxins and formaldehydes and glossophates into your food that have never been in there and the food still grows and looks perfect and got no nutrition. No nutrients. And I noticed... The Thunderfoot crowd, that if, because of my accent, when I say certain things, 
That's a reason to discredit me because I got an accent. Right? It's the stupidest thing. Wait till you see the video I'm going to do about it. But it's the stupidest thing you can imagine of all. When I finally worked out what he's really, who he is and what he really does for a living, that he actually works on nuclear power plants and he's out there trying to say there's nothing wrong, that there's no issues, that it's perfectly safe, and that we're all just fucking fear mongering. That the 80% of the children in Fallujah that are deformed is because of uh, inbreeding, because they're fucking Muslims, because he fucking hates them. Wait, wait till I get going on his case. I get set that foil. I already got it all. It's a good thing because, like I said, the last two days, I get this brand new scooter. Pretty cool. Tricycle, man. Fast as old. Get up and go. And it does nine kilometers an hour. I got 12 friggin' batteries. I got the lithium ion, phosphorus, top of the line. All ready to go. Right? Damn it. Let's send it back. Heartbreaking. I'm, like I'm still, because I've been at that for two days, I'm still really upset. So I keep dragging that up at night, sorry. <sighs> yeah. Well, hi Thomas. It's okay, Thomas. Anybody don't know Thomas? Scrolling burger. S-C-H-O-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R, -E -E just mongrelized his name. There's Diver Dude. A human fish fan. I got Miss Milky. Miss Milky. I got your number. I got your number. I'll give you a call. As soon as I get into the studio in a few days, I'm going to take the weekend off. But I'll still blast out every night on this. I'll be working hard tomorrow. It's just I had to go to town two days because I had to leave the bike in the town. Brand new bike. Doing nine kilometers an hour down the fucking road. <laughs> I, wonder what, I wonder what people thought. Because <laughs> I was cursing something awful. <laughs> Only went a half a mile and went back. <laughs> Should have been doing at least 25 or 30 anyway. Right? So... I was cursing the whole time. It was unbelievable. I was looking for a button that was like a fast or slow button. Neither one there. I talked to him all day yesterday and all day today. Funny came home. Completely uranium and chemtrails, mama and Ox trying to scare the shit out of me tonight. <coughs> That's brutal. Ugh. Yeah, they don't give it up, you know. You see the melting snow? The snow that don't melt, brother? Snow that catches fire. <laughs> Did you see that shit up on YouTube? That's some wild shit. See, every country sprays particles into the sky from planes. You call them chemtrails. And that's meant to bind, you know, aggregate with radiation because it's electrically charged and weigh it down. They've been doing that for many years over contaminated areas in particular. And so when they have all these deposits, that's their solution is to chemtrail the entire country, and it doesn't rise out of the ground. It doesn't rise up out of the ocean. It doesn't mean it left the ground, right? It doesn't mean that this, you know, uh, mitigates it in the sense of where it neutralizes it. No, not at all. It doesn't work that way, see? But what it does is stops the radiation from being li re-liberated from the ground, because we're talking about these buckyballs, in particular, when I say stuff like that. They're not salutable. They, they get they, and they hang close to the grounds where the children hang out, and the, when the children children are kicking in the grass and stuff, you're liberating these buckyballs. The, the, the atmosphere now is full of this shit, because a single gram of the cesium, uranium, the plutonium will produce more radioactive atoms, hot particles than all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet. And these rods are 12 feet long. There's, there's 80 rods in a bundle. There's 1,535 bundles in a pond. And they're missing. They were atomized. A lot of it. The bells of hell where the three melted cores or two are pumping out uh, 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. And so the rods, every time you have earthquakes, the rods all over those broken reactors fall down inside of that. And more radioactive, unimaginable. Just one rod will produce thousands of times more radioactive atoms than all the 
the grains of sands and all the beaches on earth. Just one rod. There's 80 rods in a bundle. So when a bundle falls down on it, that's 80 times that. And that stuff gets up into the atmosphere and the troposphere and it floats around the ionosphere. It goes way, you know, these are, these are like the dust you see in your house. You know, when you clean your house spotless and the sun is shining through and you can still see all this friggin' dust in your room and you know you're going to breed that. That's what these things are and they sequester in your body. In different parts of your body for different isotopes are more absorbed in different parts of your body. But at the same time, there's these buckyballs out there and they're, what, they're all hot particles. They get ingested into a spherical shape, uh, uh, binders, from the salt water and it ingests uranium particles and turns it into like a little nuclear engine. And so when you ingest those, and people were sucking back on at least 10 a day uh, in Seattle, we know there was 1,500 radioactive particles in the air in California in uh, March and April 2011 per cubic meter. Now, a cubic meter of air is a lot of air, you know. You walk through it and you breathe in one, at least one of those hot particles that have 1,500. And if you walk in more than three feet down the road, you're probably going to breathe in another hot particle. You know, and so five or ten years later, that's going to catch up with you big time. But it's also going to create all these autoimmune deficiencies. And because you're eating GMO, right, that grows the cancer because you eat so much sugar in all your product, that grows the cancers. Because cancer, uh, sugars, and Thunderfoot knows that because he actually wrote his his um, papers on sugar and water, so he understands that principle. I'm sure, right? Outrageous lawyer, unbelievable manipulator. The most loathsome person on the planet, obviously, has to be that person who knows better and continues to lie and manipulate and deceive, particularly when they work at nuclear power stations and play with. Toy battleships and toy planes, right? Tells you what kind of a maturity he actually has. That he covets that stuff. We live in a world of manipulation that has to end. That we, we have to end it the same way Ukraine ended it. That's what's going to happen. We have to take it all back. We have to start... You know, if we had a million people out there, we wouldn't have to raise our voice once. We had a million people come out and you put down these fucking clowns. That's what's going to happen. Or it's going to be chaos in the street. I don't know what I prefer better. I guess a million people coming out and slamming Ken Buesler, drop, picking up and dropping on his head till a bust would be okay. That'll work. He'll have to hide away after that. See, the problem with it is that if a million people come out and call him out, then they're going to find all the other shit that he's been saying in all the other places, and that's going to enrage these people. That's going to enrage the population, because it's not just once that he done it. No, he does it all the time, constantly. He's out there plugging that shit nonstop. Oh, it's like potassium-40. That can't hurt you. You off-gas potassium-40 as you ingest it. Right? There's this equilibrium that we live in because it's indigenous to the planet. It has nothing to do with the equation. It has zero to do with what we talk about. And they keep injecting it in with bananas and rocks and the normal background radiation of water. That can't hurt you. Unless I get hold of them, sticks their head under it for a while. Outside of that, it's never going to hurt them. Or me or you. I would love to waterboard them with it. I really would. I don't know if I would stop. I doubt it. I would drown them. I know I would. You wouldn't want to put me waterboard any of these fuckers. I've had it with them. That's why I'm here. That's why I don't care anymore. Because I can't. can't afford to care about myself. I have to care about everything now. No matter what. It comes before me. Because if we don't solve it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I take care of myself. Yeah, I take my nutrients. Yeah, I drink my dandelion root tea because it's got all the nutrients and all the minerals your body could ever want. Yeah, I spoon the turmeric back into me. I give it to my pet because there's 700 peer-reviewed academic studies on it. Yes, I seek out natural water because it has no chemicals and it's structured. The minute you add chemicals to it, you break apart the structure of water. 
and water is the most important thing on this planet, which we're attacking relentlessly with radiation and fracking and depleted uranium in other people's countries. I mean, you know, they say, oh, you know, we have a little nuclear accident here and we have a little nuclear accident there, but we'll get better and we'll learn to deal with it. No, man. You take all the 238 left over, which is 99.8%, extraordinarily radioactive because it went through the chain reaction to refine it, and then you put that in bullets. A warthog, A-10 warthog, fires a ton and a half a minute of depleted uranium-only rounds. That's the animosity equivalent of 71 Nagasaki bombs, according to a Japanese expert on DU at a conference in in Germany at a Hamburg conference where the, it was the Adamasi equivalent of 71 Nagasaki bombs per minute coming out of your coveted military A-10 warthog. And all they do with that is shoot it in the family homes and schools and hospitals and distribution centers. And so everything there becomes contaminated. Every building... So if you have a little speck of... Uh, uranium-238, you're supposed to dig up six inches of topsoil, 900 feet around it, and put a fence around it with universal signs on it. That's uranium-238. That's because it's it's contaminated with americium. It's contaminated with all the, the other heavy metals. But it's radioactive because it went through the chain reaction. For 4.5 billion years, uranium-238... Now, because you're using bullets in those countries, these pieces are x-rays and neutrons. I like to see uh, Thunderfoot go down and suck on one of those bullets after they smacked into a wall. But there's a problem on top of that. As it's going through the air, it's fireoplastic, and so it catches fire and off gases and contaminates the whole area along the way. So if it's shooting at something a mile away, it's releasing massive amounts of radioactive atoms as it's going through the air. Because it's burning off. Right? And so that's aerosoling it into the environment. The most dangerous thing imaginable. And then it's the bullets themselves are putting out neutrons and x-rays because they're chunks. Not to, and so the gammas and the betas and the alphas are completely different because they went through the chain reaction. Extraordinarily more dangerous. Up to a million times plus a couple of million times more dangerous, rather. Because they went through the chain reaction. But it's okay, Dana. It's like fucking potassium-40, Dana. You know. And so we don't get the experts. We get the Ken Buslers and the Jay Collins and the dummies like Thunderfoot that got to come out and really lie. Outrageous lies. And not put in the equation. That they work at three power plants, and that's where they get all their money. They steal it from the taxpayers to create more of this hell. They benefit society in no way whatsoever. They have no benefit to society. They're, they're the contaminant in society. They're the most harmful things on the planet, these people. They're deadly. They're mass murderers. They're hateful fucking creatures. They don't care about the ocean. They care about keeping their job and their fucking pensions. And they truly hate humans. They say, oh, well, we don't really care because there's too many humans on the planet, but they won't go kill themselves. Right? If you believe there's too many humans on the planet, go kill yourself. Shut the fuck up. Do your little part. Go fucking whack yourself. If you're in a building, go jump. I don't give a fuck if you think that way. you got no right to make decisions about my lifespan or anybody else's lifespan. You think there's too many people on the planet, take a fucking jump. Go walk out in front of a fucking truck. Okay? But don't put your ideology on everybody else. Don't put your pathetic fucking ideology on everybody else's shoulders. By demonizing everybody. Because you're a fucking dummy. Because you think you're fucking superior because you're getting a paycheck. And you work for an industry where a lot of people want to hear your lies in the media. Because you're a useful idiot. You don't tell the truth. You say potassium 40. That 137 is going to turn to potassium-40. The biggest lie imaginable. You're not even a nuclear scientist. you got no right to be out there saying it. Once you say, once you get on the show with a nuclear scientist, you can't open your mouth because it makes you look stupid. 
44 minutes of fucking yelling. Yeah, you say hi. We'll call it a night. We'll call it a night, I guess. I'll put up a few headlines. Strontium 90 moving deeper into the groundwater. Washington Street Journal. This is today's news. New York Times. Widespread, widespread public distrust of NHK over Fukushima radiation cover-up. They put out a lot of good stuff, for starters. Sounds more like you demonize them now. I know one of the reporters just quit after 20 years because he's not allowed to talk about the nuclear topic. Jesus, in Japan, it's 300,000 Beckwolds. You know, of CC-137, which means there's got to be uranium and plutonium. You can't have it without it. Reactors don't run on cesium, even though it builds up in the rods. But they weren't there originally. Build up there. It turns the isotopes show up because you put this plutonium uranium, this zirconium cladding and everything together, and then put it to a chain reaction to create the cesium-137. And so the iodine is just emblematic. Your Geiger counter can only pick up you know, certain it's only designed, right? The cheap ones you need like eight or nine thousand dollar Geiger counter, and you need to calibrate it for certain isotopes. Know how to use it. You have to have experience. You have to have practice and training to use it properly. The ones you're buying at the shop will give you readings. You know, you know something's there, right? And the creepy monsters out there will try to equate it with radon, right? That's the creepiest thing imaginable. No, it can't be Fukushima. It has to be radon, Dana. Right? You know, I wouldn't smack that in the head so hard. You just can't help it. I'm so sick of these mass murderers. These freaks. These uh, vultures. These parasites. These feeders up on the most vulnerable of society. Out there spewing their lies. And their mass murder. And willingly. Big smiles on their face. But you can hear their voice. Their voice is weak. Their voices are pathetic. Their voices have no authority. Their voices have no sincerity. Their voices don't carry any weight. They don't carry conviction. They have zero emotions. They don't back up anything. Nothing. It's like potassium-40, Dana. It's like indigenous, normal, insignificant background radiation. And I say it's not. I say you're a liar. I say you're a fabricator. I say you're a mass murderer. I do that every night. Because that's the right thing and moral and ethical thing to say. Even though I'll pay a price for this. I'm being targeted for it all the time. And I don't care. It's not going to change me. You can't intimidate me. You can't threaten me. You can't fucking buy me. It doesn't work that way with me. I'm not your fucking property. The only thing I got is my self-respect and my morals. And I have to choose to give that up you can't take that from me and i don't choose to give it up and you cannot take it from me you cannot get that from me your money means nothing to me i don't care i've been around a long time i know better i've been privileged my entire fucking life okay i don't care anymore i care about the future for all everybody for all the creatures that are being, and you know, eliminated through radiation to the 80% of the babies that are born in fluja that have no eyes, no nose, no mouth. I worry who's going to take care of them in the future? Who's going to victimize them in the future? Who's victimizing them now? Who's stealing their money now? That are living already on a dollar a day. Why people like Busler and Cullen and Mason Thunderfoot are stealing our money, stealing our science and our academics and then coming out and lying so they can keep that privilege and keep that lie alive, keep that manipulation going strong and keep people in the dark and deceive people endlessly. Can't tell a word of truth. Incapable of it. Fucking incapable of it. And I covered it on this show over and over and over as I run into it and as they show up. That's all I can do. But I know one thing. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I'm not going to make nothing up. I got no nothing to gain by that. I couldn't come back every night if I'd done that. Ever. I couldn't show up if I didn't have the conviction to do it. Because I understand it and I see the necessity and the need and the thirst. I couldn't exist. Because the reality is so much more than the fable. That we got 90 shows probably in or 85 or whatever the fuck it is. Because we got no choice. Because we got no option. Because the people we hope we can trust drops us. Drops, drops our, our fate. Right? They take away our fate. We put our fate in the name to tell the truth. We give them the education. All the money they ever wanted. Unlimited money at these nuclear power plants to do the job. And they've never done it. They take it out and throw it in our ocean. They release it into our community. They take all of our money and they blow it. They turn it into weapons. People say, oh, nuclear weapons have only been used twice. Shut your fucking mouth. You stupid, insignificant fucking dummy. Shut your fucking pie hole. It's used all the time. It's used in all the weapons in Iraq and Afghanistan, in Somalia, in Bosnia, in all kinds of fucking countries. You sick and demented, twisted, fucking useless pricks that do that. That say it's no big deal. Oh, I know better. I've been at this for almost eight years. On uranium. I get it. That's why I'm still doing it. That's why I'll be here tomorrow and the next day and the day after. Unless they phone me up and say I got another patch for the scooter, Dana. <laughs> I like to get that running. Because I like that. I enjoy it. That's my chance to get away. To escape everything. Because this consumes me. Because I ain't got no option. Because I'm terrified of what I see and see and what I know. What I understand. And then I'm terrified every time I see these lawyers out there. And the lies just keep getting bigger and more obnoxious. Non-stop. And the only solution is, is we have to stand up. That's the one thing they can't deal with. They can come out and lie, but they can't come out if millions come out and tell them to shut their fucking mouth. And we're going to have that. That's my legacy, anyway. That there'll be millions out there educated, and when these fuckers open their mouth, they'll all come out and make videos, and tweets, and Facebook posts with their fucking names on it, saying, that's a fucking lie. Game over. I'll be drowned out. Or they'll have me killed by them, whatever. I don't care. But we can't let them get away with what they're doing to us, what they're doing to our entire fucking planet, and what they're hiding and covering up. They got no right to do it. And if we don't hold them accountable, who the fuck is going to do it again? Huh? Who? It's you. It ultimately falls on your shoulder. And it's not right. It's not right that that falls on your shoulder. It's not right that I put it on your shoulder. But it's morally and ethically correct that I have to because we have no options. We don't have anybody out there on our side the way I see it. That's a fucking problem that I want fixed as quicker than imaginable, you know? So that's why I got the studio. That's why I'm going to put in all these people. That's why I'm investing all this in there. It's not... No, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. I'm doing this anyway. Just like I've done every... For the last number of years, everything I do, all those hours I put in on those little stupid fucking videos are just meant to explain that one subject to somebody that might be looking at it. So they have another narrative. That's what I'm doing here. I'm giving you another narrative of facts. Because if I tell you one lie, if I tell you one misrepresentation... Or if I fabricate anything, that's going to get used to destroy me. And so I can't do stuff like that. But Thunderfoot don't care. He lives off that. Jay Cullen lives off that. Ken Buesler is a fucking dirtbag by doing that. I'm burnt too. Sorry, folks. Off to a mad rant. I'll calm down tomorrow night. Probably. Maybe. Not likely. I got a lot of rage left in me. Just because I've been working on other things for a couple of days don't mean I haven't been using my phone to listen to every fucking thing said out there about Fukushima. 
Don't mean that changes. Don't mean I don't sleep all night and listen to lectures every fucking night. If I'm getting a shower, there's a lecture, I'm bust. Because I got to hear it. If I'm in my home and I'm not online, I'm listening to a lecture right to the last second from the experts of nuclear this and nuclear that and radiation this. Because I have to learn. I have to know. And I just scream so much. I just scream so much tonight. I don't feel bad about it. I'm doing it because I understand I got no choice. I don't have to defend myself ever. I understand that. Because facts don't have to defend themselves. That's what facts are. They defend themselves. And that's why I do things the way I do it. That's why I've always done it the way I've done it. That's why I've always got the top jobs imaginable. It's because I understand. My job was always to define a problem before it became a problem and solve it. Because it's a couple of billion dollars on the line every year. And my job is to run that fucking show. And that's what I've done. And then I had to spend six hours a day on the ocean floor. That's two marathons a day on the human body. Look it up. Think about it. In the open ocean, lugging around four or five hundred pounds of equipment for six fucking hours in currents that are unimaginable. Up here, you get them up just unimaginable fast currents and tides. Like you got a tide exchange up here where I was working is up to 27 feet during a full moon. Do you know how fast something like that goes? How hard that is? I done that because I have the perseverance. Because I have the personality for it. Because I don't get rattled. Because I don't get shoved off my spot. Because I'm determined. Because I have that in me. And that's why I'm here every night. Because nothing will put me off this. Because I know better. I know the facts. I know the truth. And I'll have them my own way. And when I get my studio up, I'll bring in the experts and we'll rip these fuckers to pieces. That's the point of it. You'll be able to phone in. And use your voice. That's probably the most important part of it. Is I want to give you a spot where you can phone me. I'll phone you. can send me your number if you can't afford it. I'll fucking phone you. And you can have your say. And we can debate. We can bring in real people. That's what I need to do. That's what needs to be done. But we got to have somebody who's honest. Somebody's got nothing to gain. Only rationality. And the ability to deal with what we got as a threat. And this is a threat. This is worse than any threat imaginable. This is real. It's not bananas, okay? It's not the background radiation of water. These are the lies and the misrepresentations used by the people that are put up in the media. They show us building four. Go look it up in my videos below or my uh, pictures below from TEPCO website. Download them yourself. And go look at CBC or CBS's pictures of Building 4 recent or BBC's picture of Building 4 recent and you tell me they match up. You tell me there's a possibility that that could exist in those buildings. And I'll say you're stupid. That you never looked. That you didn't fucking do it. That you're just opening your mouth and ratting off. Because you never fucking looked. Too busy in your own little fucking worlds. You go look, you can't deny that that can't be building four. It's impossible. The fucking thing blew up, boy. The cement on these things is unimaginably thick. Nothing was left standing. And everything was contaminated. Not only from the zirconium burning off. But from all the projectiles from unit one and three. Right alongside of it was MOX fuel. You can't get in it. Take a look at the pictures. Hey, I made it all the way to 58 minutes. Pretty good. <laughs> I'll say good night to everybody. Yeah, I got that off me friggin' chest. I'll be back at it tomorrow night. That's for art. Yeah, I know, bud. Basic data. Sydney. Mike. Con- Cor- uh, Cornier. Diver Dude. Annie Beck. Lunar. Sergeant. Stacy. Thomas. Jerry. Gary. Tracy. Mama Knox. Happy birthday, Megan. 
Hilma, DC Babu, Cindy Jenkins, Jenks, Sid, Sydney Harrison. Yeah, Billy, thanks, Sydney. Mike Connor, I already got. Um, oh, let me run down. Who we got here, folks? We got Doug, we got John, we got Sydney, Kate, uh, take a hit, whatever. Doug A, Starlight. Miss Milky, we, we love Miss Milky, she's a sweetie, and she's done so much, and same with the Nuber Magic, we love that he's out there all the time, Penny, uh, Stacy again, of course, Mike, we love seeing you folks here, we're looking forward to reading your comments after, <laughs> and uh, don't worry if someone attacks me, folks. You don't have to defend. The truth doesn't have to defend itself, okay? Don't don't get yourself angry. Even though I might drive you there sometimes, I apologize. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the fuckers out there once in a while. I got to say it. Get it off my chest. Because I know they're there. And I know they're, like, the, the, they're monitoring us. They're, they're looking at our IP, IP addresses and putting us on a list and stuff like that. And these are monsters. These are true monsters in our governments and our society that prey upon people like us and try to keep the truth back. These are the most horrible people you can imagine. These are the traitors. These are the monsters in our society that have to be dealt with. And we got to deal with it now. We don't have the time to play the game anymore. We don't have the time... To, to have this nonsense going on any longer. And so we'll catch you folks tomorrow night. Thanks, Stephen. Lunar, Dwayne, uh, Knight Rider, Bill. Uh, oh, my, oh, my. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. We'll be here at the same time once again. Lots of links below, lots of people below, all kinds of different narratives below, at least get you on the track. And, uh, you know, hugs for everybody. I appreciate you showing up. We'll be back tomorrow night. I'll be a bit more lucid. I'm not sure what tomorrow night's going to have for us, but probably not as much fun as I had tonight, but I'm sure I'll have a few good ha-ha-has anyway. Okay, we'll catch you folks tomorrow night. I better give it up because I'll just keep going. So we'll come in and read the comments after get a cup of tea. A cup of dandelion root tea. And don't forget your DCA. Check the link below, folks. Take care.